You probably tuned into this video today because you have a Weber Q grill and the flame just isn't as hot as it used to be. And it's not cooking like it used to. Maybe you watched a few other videos and you pulled out that burner tube and you poked all the little holes. Maybe you took some air and you blew it out. Maybe you mixed up some hot soapy water and you scrubbed that burner tube. Well, maybe your $70 regulator is the problem. I'm gonna fix this one today for just $23. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how I use this grill with a 20 pound grill tank. So to start, I'm gonna remove my burner tube and my valve regulator assembly. Now that I've removed the valve assembly, I'm going to take the valve off of the old regulator. To build my new regulator assembly, I have this hex bushing. It's 3 8 on one side and it's half inch on the other. And then on my regulator, it has the in and the out. So on the outside, I'm going to put the regulator on and then I have this fitting for the back side. This is half inch as well. This half inch fitting adapts to the one pound bottles. That's how we're gonna build it. So we're gonna put it all together and we're gonna use the Teflon tape. Let's install our new assembly onto the grill. Now I'm gonna reinstall the burner tube. With the burner tube installed, Let's test the new regulator with the one pound tank. Then I'll show you how I use this grill with the 20 pound tank. As you can see here, the new regulator makes a nice big flame. And as an added bonus, it has built in adjustability. Now to use my 20 pound grill tank, I'm just gonna use this adapter hose. Now I'll take the one pound tank off of the grill one end of the hose is gonna go into the regulator, and then the other end of the hose is simply gonna go right onto the tank. Now, this is a three foot adapter hose. It comes in four and five. I'll leave a link down below. Full disclosure, I do make a small commission. I'll leave a link down below for all the parts I used in this video. Make sure you check out my other video for this piezo igniter onto my Coleman grill. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.